Hey everyone, I'm Marcus Ng, and today we're going to go over my favorite Flutter VS Code extensions and shortcuts as a professional Flutter developer. I hope that these tips will help you increase your productivity and get your app on the App Store. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like my content, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really helps out the channel. You can grab the full write-up of this video on marcusing.com, linked in the description below. And with that, let's get started. Extensions are a big part of what makes VS Code so great and customizable. You can pick and choose whatever extensions you want in the extensions panel within VS Code. Here are my top picks. First off, if you're going to be making Flutter projects, you're going to need the Flutter and Dart extensions. These extensions provide a number of core features, such as Flutter integration, syntax highlighting, and automatic hot reload. You can also quickly create stateless and stateful widgets by typing STL and STFL, respectively. Another must-have is the awesome Flutter Snippets extension, which provides autocomplete for boilerplate code and commonly used classes and methods a few of my favorite shortcuts are init s for init state, dis for dispose, and list view b for creating a list view builder. Next up is bracket pair colorizer 2. Since you're going to see a lot of parentheses in your Flutter projects, it helps add color cues to matching braces, which makes it a lot easier to find those pesky mismatched braces. Material icon theme makes the icons in your file tree and tabs more appealing. Some of your folders will automatically change icons based on their names so that you can identify them at a glance. For example, auth will change to a folder with a lock. This next extension is super helpful and saves me a lot of time. With pubspec assist, you can quickly add new dependencies to your pubspec.yaml file. That's right. You don't have to go to pub.dev, search for your package, and then manually type in the name and version number. All you have to do is open the command palette, Control shift p on Windows or Command shift p on Mac, type pubspec, choose if you want a normal or dev dependency, type your package name, hit enter, and then the package is magically added to your pubspec. If block is your state management of choice, then the block extension is a must-have since it generates a bunch of boilerplate code in two seconds. After right-clicking on any folder, you can create a new default block with the block, event, and state files. You also have the ability to wrap widgets with frequently used block-related widgets. The Dart Data Class Generator extension is a lifesaver when it comes to generating code for constructors, copy with, to and from map, and to and from JSON methods. In the settings, you can choose to automatically annotate constructor parameters with at required and automatically use the equatable package for value equality. When creating a new class and adding instance variables, you can hit control period on Windows or command period on Mac while your cursor is over the class or variables to get access to a new list of commands. You can then choose to generate your constructor, certain functions, or the entire data class. I often get asked about how I have these lines in my widget tree. Just open the settings, search for Dart Flutter UI Guides, and tick Preview Flutter UI Guides. Here are some useful shortcuts for working on Flutter projects. You can auto-format your code with Alt-Shift-F or Option-Shift-F. Put commas after parentheses and move them to the next line. If your code has a blue squiggly line, 
or if you want to wrap a widget, you can open the quick fix menu with control period or command period. As I mentioned earlier, you can open the command palette with control shift P or command shift P. From here, you can create a new Flutter project, access extensions like PubSpec Assist, and more. A quick way to change files is with control P or command P. From here, you can type in a file name, press enter, and immediately start editing that file. To move a line up or down, hold down Alt or Option, and then press the up or down arrow key. This is useful for when you want to rearrange lines. It also works on multiple lines if you highlight them first. If you want to change multiple instances of the same text, you can press Ctrl D or Command D to highlight the next instance of that text. This creates multiple cursors that are manipulated at the same time. All actions like typing, cutting, or pasting are duplicated. Press F2 to rename a class, function, or variable both in a file and across your project. This is super useful when it comes to refactoring. To view the implementation of a class or a function, hold down Ctrl or Command and then click the text. You can then see the code that you wrote or see the original Flutter implementation. If you imported files or packages and then later removed all the code that referenced them, you can remove the unused imports with Alt-Shift-O or Option-Shift-O. You can toggle a comment for a line or selected lines with Control forward slash or Command forward slash. You do comment your code, right? There are many more shortcuts that can be found in the VS Code docs, and I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below. Make sure to let me know what your favorite VS Code extensions and shortcuts are in the comments. And if you're interested in learning more Flutter, check out marcusing.com for complete Flutter courses and projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.